Okay, so Sorry. welcome. Thanks. I hope you. Oh, thanks. Uh, I hope you're seeing the right screen that I'm presenting right now. The slides with it, right? Cool. Thank you. Uh, hi, hi everyone. Thanks for giving me this opportunity to be here and to talk about an ambitious and also like a small pilot project that we are running at the Wikimedia Foundation with the help of some local implementation partners in Ghana. <clears throat> so I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about this, but I apologize in advance for like some of the Wikimedia jargons. I know there are a lot of things that will come up in this project. So, you know, you can ask them in chat. I will reply to it later. But let me tell you about this. Before I tell you about this project, I want to say a bit about like, what is Wikidata? So Wikidata is, okay. I forgot to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Silesh Patnag. I'm a program <laughs> officer with the uh, education team at the Wikimedia Foundation. So Wikimedia Foundation is a is an organization, is a non-profit organization that manages the servers of Wikimedia projects and supports Wikimedia community. So that's one of like Wikipedia, Wikidata, Wikisource, and one, all this comes under uh, Wikimedia Foundation. So I'm going to talk about Wikidata. So Wikidata is a linked structured data database which is open for everyone to use it was it's a it's a relatively new project started in like 2012 uh, so almost 10 years and with about 105 million uh, data available on the database like structured data available on the database uh, so on wiki data you have like each items that connects with like a property. So it's a very technical and complex thing. So it's some something like, so Michael Essen is a player, as a football soccer player in Ghana. So one Q item is connected by a P item on Wikidata through like this. So which how the linked data works on Wikidata. So I'll not go more on this. Uh, so when we were planning on this project, so how Wikidata works, it's, as I said, it's a, like a structured data. So right now you can go to Wikidata and ask like, give me a list of like all the female presidents of France or give me a list of like all the female prime ministers of India. So you will get those re results because they're like very structured. So similarly, before this project, you could go to Wikidata and ask like, give me a list of all the mountains in Ghana. And you can ask in a, show it in a map, like a geolocation data, and it will give you the result for that. But when we were planning for this project, if we could go to Wikidata and ask, hey, can you give me like, list of all the science topics that the fifth graders in Ghana are learning about and there's no result. And we don't know like what happened in like three years back. We had the pandemic where 1.6 billion students were out of school and everyone was thinking about like what could be the larger impact that we can create in terms of like making learning uh, online more interactive, kind of you know, like building those resources, connecting those resources with the linking the OERs with school curriculums and digitizing the school curriculums, making this data available. So we, as the Wikimedia Foundation, we joined uh, UNESCO's Global Coalition for Education. And under that, this was like one of the projects that we worked with UNESCO, uh, especially with like UNESCO Ghana. <clears throat> uh, the project aims to structure curricular data on Wikidata and link it with like open educational resources. For now, the application of open educational resource that we are seeing is like connecting it with the Wikipedia articles. And when we talk about like curriculum digitization, many of us think of digitization in terms of like, okay, this paper document has been digitized into a PDF copy and has been shared with like teachers. But here we are trying to rethink that digitization perspective in terms of like, how can we make curricula, curriculum into like play with the curricular data? And this is what we are trying to experiment with Ghana's curriculum. So when we were working on this project, the documents that we got from Ministry of Education in Ghana were all PDFs. So we had to think of like, how could we create like a, how could we transfer a text reach document into 
data, you know. So we had to hire like a local implementation team. We had an amazing data scientist, Sukena. She worked on like creating a data model for, oh, sorry. Wait, this is way far. Okay, she worked on like creating a data model for us. Uh, where we tried to structure Ghana's curriculum into like different le levels of this uh, uh, data model. And we were thinking like, is it something that could work? Is it something that we could do on Wikidata? Because we also have to think of um, in mind that Wiki Wikidata is a relatively new project and there are certain barriers that Wikidata still needs to like come out of or there are certain things that we can need as wikidata still needs to think whether you know the educational data is the right space for wikidata to be so one of the thing when we were doing this data model sorry before this data model we also reached out to like curriculum experts advisor data experts and we did like a consultation of like 20 members to understand like whether this project is feasible whether Wikidata is the right platform to do it. And we we had received like good response for it. We uh we found like the certain things that we could use to build this particular data model. And this is where we have this data model of like how a text-based curriculum could be structured into like, you know, granular data models uh, i know it's like very difficult to see but i can share my slides later but um <clears throat> yeah um so we did we added it to uh wikidata we started with one particular grade in ghana uh we started with the grade eight which is uh grade seven which is known as basic seven in uh, Ghana. And we st started with one subject, which is, which is social studies. And we started getting like interesting results for that particular, um, that particular thing. Uh, please let me know if you're seeing my screen of a queue. Mm -hmm. Do you see the query service? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So right now you can go to Wikidata and ask Wikidata, give me list of all the English Wikipedia articles that are aligned with Ghana's uh, seventh grade curriculum. So it kind of like gives you that list. So right now we can see that at least 47 articles on English Wikipedia are linked to like Ghana seventh grade curriculum. So we are trying to like map these learning resources for students for future use, but it doesn't stop here. Like, you know, uh, we also have to think of like the knowledge gaps and in terms of the resource that we are creating that we know that there are other languages that are spoken in Ghana other than English. So let's look for a language that is spoken in Ghana, which is called Chui. Uh, and it's spoken by almost 1.5 million uh, speakers in Ghana. And let's see how this information or how this represent, how this has been like represented in the local language. So we saw on English Wikipedia, there are 47 articles that are part of like Ghana's, let's say aligned to like Ghana's seventh grade curriculum. What about in Twee? So here the data comes down to like 10. So if a student wants to learn something about their, about their school curriculum in their local language, there's a huge knowledge gap in terms of like uh, in, in their local language Wikipedias. So the focus of the project is not just about like mapping or aligning structured data on Wikipedia, on Wikidata, uh, curricular data on Wikidata, but also to bridge that knowledge gap to make knowledge available for everyone in the in their language. And it has been like really interesting. Like when we initially started this project, there was only two articles. So there's a side project happening with this where the community is using this data to bridge that knowledge gap. So they are using this data from English Wikipedia list and they are creating articles on like local Wikipedias so that, you know, we match that knowledge gap. 
so uh similarly you you can see like how the you can see the knowledge graph of like how this curriculum looks like in in, in on wiki data so you can download all this data you know it can be used for like for the tech investment for the you know like uh aligning open educational resources with like school curriculum so if you know any any oer organization wants to like use this data to see what are the oer uh, <clears throat> open educational resources that could be mapped into ghana's school curriculum so you can do that so this is how like it looks like so we right now we have like uh four different grades in ghana and the curriculum topics that are part of Ghana's curriculum. Uh, you can scan this QR code to look at the knowledge graph. Uh, one thing that we are still struggling with this project is to, we know that the, the data model that we worked for, that, the, that we created for this project is working. But one thing that we are struggling is to build that connection between two different curriculars. So I know that there is this, these are the subjects that are being taught in like Ghana. And I know that these are the subjects that are being, you know, students are reading in like Uruguay, but can I compare these two curriculums? What, what is the standard structure? What is that connection that could like, you know, find this comparisons and show me like, okay, these students up to these grade in Ghana are reading about climate change, but students up to these grades in the United States are not reading about climate change. So there are some practical applications that could come up with this project, which is like comparing these curriculums, understanding how much they are not learning about like colonization history, how much they're learning about climate change, uh, whether the SDG goals have been involved in the school curriculums, what exactly are they learning about the SDG goals? And different other things like um, like we are also thinking of like going into like multi-level curriculums because you know in like a country like India, even though we have like two uh, central curriculum boards, we have like state curriculum boards as well. So comparing between like how you are reading uh, in different contexts, and also, you know, in the long term, you can make those comparison between regime change. So when we were doing one consultation for this particular project, uh, one of the friends from Indonesia mentioned that how with every regime change, they change the curriculums. So you can also compare like, you know, because these are like, you can you can structure the curriculum based on like dates, like this is valid from like this, this was valid from like this date to until that date. So you can see like if there's a right wing government, these are the topics that were added or these were the topics that were removed from the school curriculum. So this, this is like a big scope for this project, but we are still like, this is still a pilot uh, project. Okay, I can still show you. So it's complex, you know? But it's like different science computing curriculum for basic seven. This is social studies curriculum for basic seven. Uh, it's a wave. <laughs> um, oops, sorry. Okay. Oops. So, um, what's next? Why am I here? Uh, we definitely need to like you know test this model. So right now we are actually testing this model with another country which is uruguay and we are adding one school one uh subject one grade of uruguay and not just because you know we want to test this but also because like how does it work in a different language you know because the uruguay curriculum is published in spanish so how how do we like do this for a different language curriculum as well. Uh, we also want to like educate teachers, researchers, and students to learn how to use this interface. To be honest, like Wikidata doesn't have the best interface for like to engage uh, the community that we are targeting to. So we have to think of like a better singular interface that just does not put everyone into this complex situation. Uh, we also need like continuous improvement of this model, like while expanding, you know, like I mentioned, for like other curriculums to be part of it. And we definitely need your help, you know, to sustain scale and advocate for this project with like experts and partners that we have here with you all. Like you all bring that experts, you, you 
it can help us to advocate more about like going curricular data into like a uh, curriculum into like more data oriented thing um i know i don't have time otherwise i could have shown like a beautiful uh like campaign video that but happened in Ghana, but I can show you some of the pictures. So in Ghana, they tried to involve some of the librarians, teachers, and other members from the community to work on bridging this knowledge gap. They started with like English Wikipedia because, you know, even on English Wikipedia, most of the content are written in a very Euro or Western centric view. They tried to make those into like curriculum, uh, add the context of curriculum into those articles. So yes, we are trying to do this. Uh, there was a video, but I will share it next time. Uh, I know like this two minutes, so I wanted to take some questions, but uh, this is me. You can reach me on this email address if you need like more information about this project. And I'll also drop the project link to uh, with you all. Thank you. This is great. Thank you, Salish. That's a very ambitious and exciting project, actually. I really like the mapping of um, open educational resources against the curricula on Wikidata, which is actually dependent on adding more resources or data to curricula, uh, to Wikidata, as far as it is concerned. And also makes me wonder about the availability of open educational resources on Wikipedia that can be then matched against these um, curricula needs and how that is actually done. And that seems like there is more more content needs in that regard actually and uh, then more content needs to be developed uh, by curricular subjects or subject experts actually so this is really a exciting and ambitious project thank you very much for sharing that um, i think there is a question from julian here in the chat window if you can see that uh, well, uh, let me just read it out for the benefit of those who might not be able to see this after the recording have you been collaborating with uh united nations higher um, united nations unhcr as well i'm thinking about how important it is to match education in emergencies with national curriculum you are muted Selish. sorry uh uh no i i don't think like you know we have gone to like that level right now of building this collaborations. I mean, so this project was supposed to end last month, but we now have like two months extension to finish our report and uh, present something to UNESCO who were like our, our original partners for this project. Uh, so we, we are meeting with UNESCO. We are also meeting with like IPB, International, sorry, I forgot the, pro international board of bureau oh sorry sorry i forgot this is part of like unesco's ibb yeah okay and we are also trying to find like other partners that we can meet and maybe you know like uh it's in its series is probably one of the interesting partners to collaborate with uh like initially the idea was that to see if like refugee education in terms of like what are the curriculum that are part of like their own country and how what they're learning in in a country that they are now based in so yeah it's it's an interesting application but there's still more steps to take it for that okay um i um i'm asking because i've been talking with you and a bit about this so i'll just read more and then uh, you let me know how we can. but it sounds very interesting Super cool and incredibly ambitious. Yeah. Would you use the, the relevance of the content that is matched against the, the curricula um, from Wikipedia, Salish, in this pilot project? Uh, so you Eagle, can you ask, ask that question again? Sorry. Uh, so, so, so the the content that is returned by uh, by Wikipedia in terms of relevant articles or resources against the curricular uh, data on Wikidata, who reviews the relevance of this content um, that is returned as a potential entry? Uh, so, I'm trying to get your question right, but 
if you're asking like what's the relevance of the content that has been written on the wikipedia article and how we are matching it to uh the uh the wikidata item so what we are doing right now like the for example i'm giving an example of the ghana's curriculum structure so ghana's curriculum structure is like a four base structure one is like a bro broad topic that has been covered in the curriculum and that broad topic is then comes down to like some secondary topics then some tertiary topics so when it comes to like a tertiary topic you know like uh some 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 top like the broad topic would be something like learn about patriotism in ghana i'm just giving a random example but it comes down to like independence uh in 19 something 1957 something like that so we are trying to match just that topic with a wikipedia article so you know just to see like whether that wikipedia article exists or not but under that topic there are like some of the learning objectives that has been given on, on the curriculum so those learning objectives are something we see whether those learning objectives are part of the english wikipedia articles or not if not, is a need of like a new article that could be, you know, like used to match this thing. So for something that we are trying to do with local languages, we're actually trying to match, like we're trying, when we're creating new articles, we're trying to match with, with the learning objectives and create those new articles on the base of that. So that, you know, because we also know that for someone to read Wikipedia articles, you need to have like that much of like learning skills you know the, the reading skills that required for that so we have to make it more like student friendly as well which is not a doable thing for now on english wikipedia but we are trying to do with like local local language wikipedia to see how it can be more like student friendly how we can it can be like more curriculum it can be developed or structured based on the curriculums so the relevance of the content uh i think for now we are doing it like more manually to see like matching the topic by topic uh but in the long run you know like when we have this report published we would definitely need like your help uh or your feedback to see like what should we do in terms of like making it like more uh relevant or reliable uh as a data thing as well yeah great thank you so much yes. I hope that was yeah <laughs> So please do share that report with us when it is available. There is another question uh, from Julian, or maybe a comment. Uh, Julian, would you like to read that out, please? Yeah, I think it, the answer might be long, but I was asking how how you now you're referring a lot to Wikipedia articles, right? And it's I guess it's also early days. So I was just asking, what's the next step in terms of connecting to resources outside of Wikipedia? Uh, or Wikimedia, yeah, Wikidata. Yeah, so so yes, there are like potential. So one of the things that I recently visited, like, um, you know, Internet Archive office, and I was very exciting to see like how they are also trying to, you know, like use, they're, they're kind of like building a tool or something, which will also use like, you know, open educational resources or, or mostly open resources in the citations. Uh, you know, so it would be interesting if those open educational resources could directly be added into the Wikidata items. So, you know, when we are mapping it with like one particular subject or one particular topic, those things like by default gets added to the Wikidata item. So it can already connect with like open educational resources, but we definitely have like properties. Like I mentioned in the beginning, like on Wikidata, you can connect like external identifiers or internal identifiers, uh, you know, in between. So for adding like open educational resources, we will have, we will have to use a property right now. I don't know what exactly that property would be, but there are definitely property that will help you, you know, match external links uh, with that particular item. So the more the merrier, totally. Thanks. I added the link to the partner that we work with and Encore, X5 Gone, X5 Lar, that do a lot of that also. Thank you. Thank you. Any last comments or questions for Salish? No?
at this point in time. So, well, Salas, thank you very much uh, for your presentation. This is a really exciting uh, and ambitious project. As some of the, uh, some other participants have mentioned, we really appreciate your sharing uh, this project, especially this pilot project. And we, we are looking forward to seeing the report when it comes out and then discussing potential steps uh, and how we could help uh, either amplify it or, not, or help um, in other ways as far as the project is concerned. So thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to pause the recordings. Um, um, as far as I can see the OK.